Hello, everyone. Welcome to your chair yoga session for today. I'm Caitlin, and I'm so glad to be doing yoga with you all. Find yourself a seat and get ready to stretch and relax and breathe. And we'll go ahead and get started. Sit however you would like to begin with. <clears throat> we'll stretch for a couple minutes and then we'll meditate for a couple minutes as we get into our class. So just start with your hands down, fingers pointing towards the floor. And we're going to connect the breath and start to open up the torso a little bit. So start to lift your arms and breathe in, inhaling up to the top and then exhaling and breathe out. And for the first couple times, focus only on your breath. Inhale, lifting up. Really enjoy your breath. Exhale, come down. Make your breath deeper, which is so good for us. Inhale, come up. Let your mind calm down with your focus. Exhale, come down. Focusing just on your breath for one more round. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Now shift your focus to your rib cage. And as you inhale, lift your rib cage up away from your hips. It's a little strange. And then exhale, keep your rib cage lifted up that much as you come down. So don't let the rib cage collapse back down. And again, inhale. Think rib cage lifting up away from hips and exhale, keep that nice height and expansion and then bring your hands to your lap. All right, and then from there, do a couple of shoulder rolls in whatever way or degree feels good to you right now. It's bringing some movement into the shoulders and the upper back. <clears throat> All right, and we'll do a few little neck stretches. So we're just going to turn the head to the right, looking right for a moment, just gentle neck stretch, and then come to center and then turn to the left. So you're twisting your neck, bringing on a little bit of stretch, center, and then twist to your right. Keep going side to side, just in this way, flowing your breath through. And if you would like to slow this way down and pause for longer on each side, if that feels better for your neck, you're welcome to do that. If you want to speed this up a little, you're welcome to do that. If you want to create this, the um, tempo here that works best for your neck. And just keep flowing the breath through so you're not holding your breath at any point. Uh, my little yoga kitty is restless. All right, and take a moment. Let me let her out. And now we're going to stretch the neck from side to side a little differently. So now you're just facing forward and let your right ear drop down towards the right shoulder, just to the point where you get a nice little neck stretch for you. And then come up to center and then gently left ear down to left shoulder. And then this is our rhythm here. So we're just going side to side and begin to settle into the rhythm that feels like it's the best for your neck for today. So again, it might be much slower, which is great, or it might be faster, which is great. Just really whatever is serving your neck better depending on what it feels like today. Take your time. You're going to end up wanting to do your left side one more time and then come up to center. Then let's hike the shoulders way up towards the ears. Feel your rib cage a little bit like the rib cage is lifting away from the hips and then exhale, bring those shoulders down. So we're going to tip the chin up. So now we're stretching the neck in a different way, comfortably for you. So you're kind of closing the back of the neck. And then begin to arc your chin down through center and drop your chin towards your chest, stretching open the back of the neck. And then continuing with that, inhale, lifting up, 
settle into the tempo that feels like it's the most beneficial for your neck. When you come back into the dropped head position, chin dropping towards the chest, pause there, breathe, relax your face, Just notice that stretch, and then bring your head gently back up to center. Scoot yourself all the way back so that you're now leaning back against your chair. We'll meditate and focus a little bit even more. And so settle your hands on your lap, settle the feet comfortably, and close your eyes. So my focus today is going to be a little bit on the ribs, on the rib cage lifting up, and a little bit on stress release. So consciously let yourself have this small period of time where you're going to focus just on the present and you're gonna let go of stressing about the past. You're gonna let go of those chunks of stress that might have been with you today or this week. You're gonna let go of anticipating and worrying about the future. And you're just gonna let yourself enjoy what's present as we go through the practice. One physical thing that can be helpful for that is letting go of tension in the face. So relax your face, relax your jaw, your eyes and your forehead. And let go of any kind of feeling bad about anything. What I've noticed is that sometimes when we feel bad about something in our lives, that there is a feeling that we need to keep dwelling on it in that way in order to fix it or to solve it. That we need to sort of stay in that feeling bad kind of moment. But that actually, if we let go of that and we let our mind stop thinking about it for a while, and we do something that puts us in a much calmer and more stable frame of mind, then we're actually much more capable of dealing with a problem. So really let yourself let go of any feeling bad, let go of your stress, and just dedicate yourself to letting your mind come into a more healthy state. So we're gonna take a breath in together, inhale deeply through the nose, and then exhale through an open mouth. Do that again, your pace. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through your mouth. And then let the eyes open and wiggle your fingers and your toes a little bit. Start to bring yourself forward. And so that you're sitting up on your own. Take your fingertips to your shoulders and we're going to roll the elbows. So taking the elbows in nice kind of lazy circles. So it's kind of that early morning stretch when you take the shoulders up and back right after you get out of bed in the morning. And there's no set breathing pattern. Just let the breath flow through the movement that you're doing. And we're going to start to take it one elbow at a time. So now take just one elbow and then the other elbow. And find a rhythm. It can go slower, faster, or just at my pace. And I want you to start to turn your head as well so that you're really twisting the head a little with your elbow and your torso. And you're bringing a bit more twisting into your torso. Your whole torso is now twisting which is wonderful for our digestion and all of our organs, our backs, for any of us who have any back tension or back issues. One more time to the left, no rush, let that be your last side, and then come on down. Just kind of shimmy out your shoulders, be up and down or forward and back, 
whatever way works. And we're going to do a twist. So just settle your feet about hip width apart. Take your left hand to your outer leg somewhere. Take your right hand to the seat of your chair and begin to twist your torso to the right and turn your head to the right as well. Breathing here, we're going to take it really slow to begin with and then we're going to speed it up a little into a flow. Breathe and feel into your rib cage and try to stretch your rib cage up off of your hips a little bit. So you feel the front, back, and sides of the rib cage lifting up, but keep those shoulders relaxed. And when you're ready, release to center, try your other side. So right hand to the outer leg, left hand to the seat of the chair. Beginning to twist, turn your head as well. Breathe and feel into the rib cage. Breathing front, back, and sides of the rib cage up off of your hips. When you're ready, release that side. So we're, we're fighting back against gravity a little because gravity wants to compress and pull us down. So we're lifting the rib cage and resisting gravity a bit and creating more space here is so healthy for healthy breathing and a healthy breath will lead to good health. So that's what we want. So we're gonna flow a little bit now. So inhale and lift your arms all the way up. Now as you exhale, twist to your right and just settle your hands right into that same position that you had before for the twist. Inhale, lift up to center, feel your whole rib cage lift, and then exhale, settle and twist to the left. Inhale, lifting up, front, back and side, ribs lift. Exhale, settle, twisting to the right. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, settling into the left. And then last time, inhale, lifting all the way up overhead. Bring the hands together and just bring the hands right down through the heart. So we're going to add on a side bend, but we won't go fast. This will be kind of slow again. Come back into your twist to the right. So left hand on the outer knee. Let the rib cage lift a little. Turn your head and twist. Now release your twist, but keep your hand there. And let your chest basically face knee again. Then lift your right arm up into the air. And here we go into our side bend. So lean to the left, a good amount for you. And feel all of that space that's now opening up between your right side ribs and your right hip. Breathe into that space. And then come all the way up and out of it. I know that was a minute. Just gently shake your hands out in front of you and then come into your twist to the left. Right hand to the outer leg. Twist your torso and your head. Feel that twist for a moment. Now let your chest Turn so the chest is basically facing knee again. Lift your left arm up, and we're going to exhale, side lean over to the right. And keep relaxing tension from your face, from the jaw, eyes and forehead. Letting go of any stress. Just being present with what you're feeling right now. And then bring yourself all the way up. Good. Lift your shoulders up to your ears. Lift your rib cage up as well. And then exhale and come all the way down. And just roll your shoulders a little bit. Coming into our legs. So go ahead and take your right knee up and in towards your chest. Ish. Right? Just ish. You can hold on around the front or you can hold on around the back. Whatever works for you. But whatever handhold you have, then think about your rib cage. Lifting that rib cage up off of the hips, but at the same time keeping the shoulders relaxed. All right, now just hold on underneath. Keep the knee comfortably bent and start to circle your foot 
and your ankle. Flow your breath through your body. Let your mind simply be present and enjoy what you're feeling. Circle the other way. And then we'll just set that leg down. Shimmy out your feet a little on the floor and switch legs. So now it's your left knee that pulls up and in. So once you get there, begin to lift front, back, and sides of the rib cage up off of the hips, launching that rib cage up, creating more space between ribs and hips. And then just hold on underneath if you're not already. Let the knee be comfortably bent as you start to circle the foot and the ankle around. It's amazing how sometimes even the simplest stretches and movements can feel so good after everything we do in our lives. Switch directions. Keep relaxing your face. Letting go of any kind of feeling bad so that your mind can relax and calm down. And then bring that foot back. Just shimmy out your feet a little bit. And we're gonna come right into a little bit of chair marching. I'm gonna take this in degrees, you all, in layers. So you're pulling up the right knee again, and then you're just gonna set it back down. You're welcome to hold on um, in front or underneath. And we're just switching back and forth. So just pulling up one knee at a time. And so this rhythm is a little bit faster. You're welcome to take it even faster or a bit slower. But there's a lot of movement here. So we're creating a little bit of heat in the body. And this is a great core workout. So all of those muscles involved from your stomach all the way back to your lower back. If you'd like to make this a little more challenging, release the hands to your chair seat and just lift those knees. Feel free to stick with that or the first version. If you'd like to add another little challenge, you're gonna swing your arms. So the arms will start to swing, you'll speed up a little bit, and you're welcome to stick with any layer of this that works for you. But we're keeping moving, the heart rate, heart rate might go up a little bit. Keep flowing your breath through. Notice what you can enjoy about this. Maybe it's just the goofy way that I look as I'm doing it. All right, let's do one more time each side and then come down and just shimmy out your feet. Um, so we need to stretch our backs. We're gonna come into cat-cow. Keep your hands right where they are on your lap. Start to arch your back, so puff up your chest, pull your shoulders back, look up a comfortable mount for your neck, and this is our arched back position, or cow, and now reverse that, start to round your back, shoulders will come actually forward, let, excuse me, your chin drop down towards your chest, rounded back position, or cat, so come to neutral, and now we'll link to the breath. So inhale, come into the arched back position, and exhale, come into the rounded back position. Inhale, arching up, exhale, rounding, inhale, arching, exhale, round. Do that one more time, your pace, your breath. and then come on back to neutral. Lift your arms up into cactus. So we're gonna add the cactus arms to that same basic movement. We won't move quite as much, but it's very similar. So in the first one, let your elbows and arms kind of draw back as you puff up and open your chest, look up a little. Now as you exhale, round your back as you close your wings here. Let your chin drop down. So we'll link with breath more. Inhale, open up. Exhale, close the cactus, drop the chin. Inhale, open up. Exhale, 
exhale, round the back, drop the chin. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round and close. Inhale, open up. And then this time, just bring your arms all the way down. Take a moment, take a breath. When you're ready, take your feet a comfortable, comfortable distance apart. We're coming into a wide V stance here. So the feet can be turned out a little bit, but feet are just flat on the floor. We're gonna take the hands so they point inward, fingers point in, and begin to lean forward a comfortable amount for you. Feel your spine stretching. And start to twist to your right and pull your left shoulder a little bit underneath you. Feel the hands pressing and stretch out your spine. And then we're gonna come back to center and take the other side. So now twist to your left, try to take that right shoulder underneath you any amount. Stretch the spine and release and do the other side again. And then release and come back to the left. All right, and then bring yourself all the way up. And from here, we'll side bend. So keep your right hand where it is. Lift your left arm up and begin to lean over to the right. And you are welcome to drop down onto the elbow. Try to keep both feet pressing into the floor. Once you're there, feel those left ribs stretching way away from that left hip. Soft tension in the jaw, the eyes, the forehead. And then bring yourself all the way up. That one can be quite intense and it's so good for us. Lift that right arm up. Begin to lean over to the left. Welcome to drop down to an elbow. Keep pressing both feet, kind of like snuggling both feet down into the floor. Feel those right ribs stretching away from your right hip. Let go of anything, any kind of stress or tension that might have come back into you. Let it go. Let the mind settle into what you're feeling right now. And then bringing yourself all the way up. So one little forward bend, hands on the legs. And again, we're just leaning forward. Comfortable amount for you. And if you'd like to go further, you'll start walking your hands down the front of your legs. You can come forward or down as much as you want. You're even welcome to let your head hang all the way down and take a couple of nice relaxed breaths in and out. All right, start to make your way up. Bring your feet all the way in together. And we're gonna come to standing. If you're up for it, if you're not up for standing, stay seated and just try to do a modified version of whatever we're doing. If you're up for standing, you're gonna stand behind your chair. So you guys just get yourselves set up behind your chair, what, however, but however, is best for you and I'm going to turn sideways but you don't necessarily have to turn sideways. So you're behind your chair holding on to your chair with the hands. Begin to walk your feet back away from your chair folding at your hips and let your chest and your head lower down towards the floor. And eventually you're going to want to let your head hang through your arms if this feels like too much stretch in the backs of your legs, you can bend the knees a little bit. Deepen your breath. And you'll feel a lot going on because there is a lot going on here. And what you want to focus on is that distance between your hips and your ribs and lengthening and stretching open that distance between hips and lower ribs. Breathe into those spaces. When you're ready, take your time. Start to walk your feet back in. Such a wonderful stretch. You all can stay right where you are. I'm going to move a little, but you don't have to. 
Um, we can do that stretch every day, all the time, and it's so good for us. Coming into a little bit of a warrior two practice. So you're holding on to the back of your chair, step your feet wide apart, just a good width for you, and then turn your right foot to the right. And what that means is the back foot will now angle in a little bit, okay? We're going to take the right fingertips to the shoulder like this, and then start to bend your right knee, all right? And you're welcome to take that hand back to the chair anytime you need to. So you're going to lean your elbow towards your knee, it's a little bit of a crunch there, and then come to center and straighten your leg, and now you're going to stretch back towards that back leg, and we'll flow with this. So come up, Bend the knee, lean your elbow towards your knee, and inhale, come up, straighten the leg, exhale, lean back. And we're going to keep going. If you would like to, you can take that left hand to your hip, totally optional. Fan straighten and lean back. Come up, bend, and lean down. Fan, straighten, and lean back. That'll be our last time, you all. And then just release your hands, pivot your feet in, walk your feet in, and just shake your legs out a little bit. Second side, so take the feet nice and wide apart again. And this time we're turning the left foot to the left. There, you guys can see my left foot a little bit better, which means the back foot angles in, all right? You can totally keep both hands on the chair, but if you're up for it, take the left fingertips to your shoulder there and begin to bend your left knee. Now we're leaning down with the elbow and the torso. And then fan, straighten the leg, and lean back towards your back leg. And then up, bend, and lean down. Totally optional to have that other hand on your hip. Stand, straighten, and lean back. And come up, bend, and exhale down. And then inhale up, straighten, lean back. And one more time, you all stand, and then bend and lean down. And up. Straighten and lean back. And then release your hands and just take your feet in and shake your legs out. All right. So go ahead and come all the way back to your chair. We're going to come back to sitting and do some, just some finishing stretches here as we get towards the end of class. So come all the way forward on your chair. Separate your feet a little bit. We're going to take windshield wiper legs. So turn your knees to the right, kind of like so, and then come to center and turn your knees to the left and center and continue. So you kind of just have to move your hips towards the edge and find a decent place for your hips on your chair so you can do this. Now what I want you to start to do is when you come to the side, begin to straighten that back leg any amount. You don't have to totally straighten, but move towards straight, all right? And then we're going to add a little bit of head movement here. So when you take your knees to one direction, twist your head to the other direction. And do what you can. So now we have several different things going on with the legs and the head but do what you can and breathe. Let go of any stress. Just enjoy. Take it one more time. And then come back to center and just bring your feet in. Straighten out your right leg on the floor so that your heel is on the floor, your toes are pointed up in the air, and that right leg is pretty darn straight. The left knee stays bent going to take a bit of a forward bend. So sit up straight, launch the ribs up from the hips, and then begin to lean forward 
and you are welcome to take it further down if you want. Lowering your hand, you can even lower your head. Soften the jaw, eyes and forehead. Let any stress roll off you. And then bring yourself up and we'll take our second side. So bend the right knee and now stretch your left leg to straight. So the left heel's down, left toes pointed up into the air. Hands on the legs, lean forward. Oh, let's actually sit up straight again because I want to feel the ribs one last time. So just sit up straight, lift front, back, and sides of the ribs, and then start to lean forward with all of that length. Come on down as low as you want or stay as high as you want. And then bring yourself on back up, shimmy out your legs on the floor and move yourself all the way back in your chair for our relaxation. Separate the feet a bit, settle your hands in your lap, close your eyes and just start to let go of all effort in your body, in your face. Soften the jaw one last time. Soften your eyes. Soften the eyebrows, the temples, forehead. Feel your cheeks softening. And just move your mind, move your focus to one part of your body at a time. And just slowly relax one little bit of you at a time. It can be a really small, specific part of the body, or it could be a bigger part, like your legs in general. And just slowly keep going through and focus on relaxing one more part of your body each moment. If you haven't already, really notice your shoulders. Let go through the shoulders. And then deepen your breath a little bit. Go ahead and take the hands up together in front of the heart. And take a moment to simply notice the calm and the peace and the quiet that you find yourself in. Mm. Dedicate a little bit of energy into bringing that peace and calm and quiet with you through the rest of your day today, just to some small extent as you go through. Thank you all so very much. Lovely doing yoga with you all as usual and have a wonderful rest of your day.